The kids and I are loading up. We're taking Daddy some coffee and we are gonna go check out the progress. So the kids and I took off last Friday on a whim, very last minute, to Florida. So none of us have seen the inside of our house in probably close to a week. So we're gonna go inside, check out the progress, and see how everything's going. Okay, let's see how it looks. <laughs> oh, there's paints, paint right there. That's Oh, okay. Wow, it looks good, honey. So can, I can't tell on the camera, but can you see the seams like you were worried about? Oh, yeah. Awesome. He got the cabinets done. Oh, it looks fantastic. Wow. That's fine. Nice. So this is the first coat of the gray color. Are you going to second coat the blue? No. I'm no. Just, okay. I'll take all the doors off, paint all the hinges. Yeah. And then I'll touch up all the paint. I've got to do a second coat on the whole white cabinets. On the cabinets? Okay. And the doors and turn it. So. Of the 21st I know. <laughs> Let's look at the laundry room. Awesome! Babe, it looks so good. Like, it doesn't even look like the same house. So the walls are toasty gray. We did just a plain white for the upper cabinets. Do you remember what color this blue was? Do you have the can? the swatch stuff. I'll link all of the colors and brands that we use down in the description box. No, no, no. Let me through. So good. This is the master bathroom. It literally feels like a house, which is totally what we were going for. So this is kind of one of the seams that come on the mobile homes and we had to rip all of those off. He actually ended up putting a piece of wood here so we can access the back of the shower, but literally had to take all of those off and completely drywall and remove the nails. Talk every nook and cranny. Yeah. Gracie's room. So he's come back through and has kind of touched up painting. That's probably why this looks real straight. It'll all dry real evenly. He's painted the ceiling. There's those seams I was talking about. Those were all on the wall and he had to remove them and drywall them, cock them. Oh. Yep, I found the wet spot. How many tubes of caulk did it take? 
And how many days did it take you to do it? It was 14 tubes of caulk, and it took two days. Every seam on the ceiling, both sides, had to get caulk all the way down the whole, the whole upper edge of the whole house. And these are flat piece, flat piece, and flat piece. I had to caulk here and caulk here. What did you use to do the flat piece, that wood trim that was already there? Yeah, I didn't do that, it was already there. Yeah. And then I had to caulk every, I mean, staple, 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 staple. and everywhere. So when you painted, you wouldn't see all the imperfections. Well, it definitely has a nice, smooth, clean look. So what's crazy is when you first walked in here, it didn't feel like a single white trailer anymore. It literally felt like you were walking into a house. It didn't have that flimsy wall feeling, shaking feeling when you walk. Like it's really amazing what a difference it made just taking the seams off, painting, caulking, and actually adding a little bit of color into this house. Okay, what we did to get to this point. After we removed the seams, we did the drywall texturing with drywall mud. He had to do two coats of that. In between each coat, it had to be sanded. He then used a paint sprayer to spray oil-based kills. Once that was applied and that dried, he was able to roll on and paint the bare toasted gray color. For the kitchen cabinets, he also sprayed the oil-based kills since they're more of a particle board material. That oil-based kills allows the paint to adhere and cover up any color wallpaper that you don't want um, coming through. He then painted and rolled on the blue color. He's going to do another coat of the white paint on the upper cabinets as well as a, roll another coat of the toasty gray throughout the house. Once that's done, he'll be able to do all the trim, he'll cut it all in, and next we'll be ready for flooring.